Peace, love, and light, y'all. How y'all doing? Feathers up. We're not just talking, we're actually living it. It's a great grand old day. Um, you know what, man? I just feel like some stuff is going on. I feel like I'm getting some... You know, I went to sleep. Hearing stuff. Somebody else. Right. I gotta leave this place. That's the, that's the bottom line. I gotta get my stuff packed up. You know, some of the stuff, I just gotta pack it up. But it's kind of like, I don't even know exactly where. Where I'm gonna go, like, because I still gotta... I think it's gonna be in another place in uh, Flint. I gotta call to see if they got rooms. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really too worried, but it's just like maybe maybe I, maybe that's not true about me not being too worried. Maybe in scale, that's how I scale it up. I just know I gotta leave because before I didn't really see my biological father's car before. I was wondering if he's still here, but I saw it. I think earlier hours ago, I should say. Cause it's like. So the day before their pagan holiday, Christmas, you know, and celebrate it. So, because it's the 24th right now. I'm over here thinking. If y'all hear this, that's some lightness that bring us some sage. Feel me? Feel me? Because I just needed to. I need to bring some sage, real talk. It's a lot right now. It is a lot. I'm over here doing some thinking. My mind always thinking. I'll get so much different downloads and I'm just thinking back to think about this narcissist you know this stuff narcissism you know you begin to detox uh, from it it's like I started to think like I remember you know all these things connected you know you got that's one of the questions you gotta ask if you don't ask people ask you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's like what is it you know what is it with these what is it with these people like? What is it? Is it connected? You know? I remember being in a school. Had this friend. He used to play video games. And then we played video games. Like, we used to play this game. What was it called? Uh, we used to play a lot. We used to play GTA, GTA 4. We played GTA 5. And, uh. Red Dead Redemption. You don't have to know the games. But just know that it's like a free roam game and stuff like that. So. Um, and I was play, and I remember. One thing is that. That's an online, like, I noticed the character, like, in GTA 4, like, he never really wanted to drive. Never wanted to drive. He was like, no, nah, you drive, you drive, you drive. And it's just like, what the frick? It was just like, it was just kind of irritating, you know what I'm saying? And I noticed, too, like, we like we attacking other enemies. You know, you play with the guns and whatnot. Um, I noticed that I get, like, not, I shoot a player. Uh, the player and they get like 99 down to health and then he'll get the last, last shot and his the bullet the bullet he shoots that would be the last one to get him and he'll be and i'll be like i got him. i said i'll be like yeah got him and so he like no nah, i got that nigga and I, and I he'll say it like he did it like i did all the work you know what i'm saying you happen to be the last bullet so i'm just like man you know things like that and then too whenever he had issues to some like I always used to pull up on them, like, on the game, too. And be like, what? Somebody like that, you know, try going to defend them or whatnot. And, and, and you know, always shooting back, attack enemies. And uh, it was, I noticed that. I noticed that, too, that one time. One time I was uh, playing. And I just got, I said, hey, come here, you know, such and such, come here. And I just got mad. I said, I said, yo, you never, I said, yo, you never got my back, yo. What the frick is that? I got so mad. He was like, and he started laughing. He's like, well, I do got you. I'm like, no, you don't. And I thought about it. And I was young, bro. This one I was like in school, like, I think high school. Yeah, high school. That's like, I realized this nigga, 
This nigga never had my back. This nigga never had my back, yo. That jump ridiculous. That jump is ridiculous. Nigga never had my back. And he was like, oh, I did. I, but I was just thinking about it. He never did. All these times. And you know how many times, like, you know, we would be sure that enemies is on GTA 5. And then I, I, I kill somebody and I say, all right, we got to go. We got to take off. And I still don't like necessarily the vernacular of the word and the energy of it. But I'm just telling you what happened in the game. Um, but it was just like, I was like, hey, we got to take off. He's like, no, no, I got to get this nigga. I got to get this nigga. I'm like, yo, yo, we got to dip. So then he ends up. And it's the boom, he gets smoked. And I think I end up going with him or something. And I think, I don't know, they might have got me too. But it was just kind of like being with him, leading with him was like, or being with him, it just wasn't beneficial. And you know, you might say it's a video game, but it was stuff too, because I knew him in real life. It was like, he'd be dodging me. He'd be dodging me and whatnot. And he'll be dodging me and whatnot. Like, we we're supposed to get together. You know what I'm saying? He was, another thing talking about drug addiction, he was addicted to smoking weed and whatever. He had a, a friend, you know what I'm saying? And you know, like, narcissists, they stick together, you know what I'm saying? But, and it's like one time I was supposed to get together with him. And it was like my biological mother was tripping, you know, she wouldn't let me go out, whatever. But then that time they ended up getting arrested, the police got him. And then that dude he was with, uh, He ended up, whatever, I think the police drove him home or something like that or something like that. They were crying. They were like, yo, just please don't be mean to us. And the cops were laughing at him. And then it turns out they were like, they had like got a charge or whatever. And then he said, his, his man, Ron, he told all them. He said that all the weed was him. And he said, and he said, because he, he, he had a written statement, said that all the weed was his. And so then he was like, he was like, I had to, bro. I was 18. They're going to charge you as an adult. He's like, and he's like, nah, bro. You're supposed to say both of them are ours. And then, so he said he don't mess with him or whatever. And we met him before. I met the dude before he was talking about He was a, some so-called Jewish pal boy. Like, he was saying niggas. I'm like, yo, you can't say that. You can't say that, yo. You can't be saying that around me. You're the frick. You ain't supposed to say that. Like, and he was okay with it, but he was like, dude, he was half breed Puerto Rican, you know. Uh, but anyways, so then he like, oh, you know, you're not supposed. To. So then he was like, oh, uh, so then he said he not messing with Ron or something like that. But his dad, his mom's boyfriend is like a cop or whatever, and he said he found him. He gonna, he said he gonna uh, plant some drugs on that uh, on that nigga or something like that. This is the person who used to be my friend. You know what I'm saying said that anyways uh so just some hoe ass stuff but so then he said he don't mess with me then next time i remember one time this is like in the summertime i went hooping uh this is like after i graduated high school and you know it was just summertime and i was just hooping whatever and then whatever i heard and then i heard somebody call my name and i was like it was like, this is like, I was like, yo, I said I heard somebody call my name. He like, oh. And I heard it again. So I look. And then who I see? I see uh, somebody who was a uh, dude who was my friend or whatever. I stopped talking to him or whatever. I don't know. I think I, I don't know what happened. He's like, oh, what's up? Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, what's up? And then I seen the dude, he was, the dude, the dude that snitched on him, he was in the same car as him. And they were both in the car, and they was driving they were next to each other. Past, and it's like, somebody's narcissistic stare. Like, he was just staring, like, like, he wasn't even saying what's up or anything. Like, I'm like, yo, what the frick is that? Like, and I'm just like, yo, this is the same dude who snitched on him. He had the record, he had to go to drug classes. He said he was in there with, yeah, I remember he was telling me about how the classes were. He was telling me, like, his rehabilitation. You know, he was with that crack addicts. He was doing drugs, meth, all, any hard drug. Any, he was just there with. And it was just like, yo, what the frick? He did all that, but he's still with him. You know, these narcissists aren't really friends. They may 
work together, but they aren't together. They'll turn on each other on a dime. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, uh, but he, like I said, you know, that one friend, he did show, did, uh, he did stood me up one time. Like, we were supposed to get together and something like that. And I think he asked, he wanted, I don't even know if I should be telling the story. He wanted more money for such and such. You know what I'm saying? And I was saying, because I wanted to save my money and I didn't want to spend that much money. So I was saying that, hey, my mom couldn't give me that much money or something like that. And he was just like, nah. <laughs> I think there's other parts of the story I don't even want to tell. I can't even express. But because uh, he was just like, nah. He was like, nah, see, she can give you more, whatever. So she couldn't give me more. So he wouldn't take me out. Like he was dodging my calls. I called him a bunch of times. So I'm like, he was supposed to get together. And he had, I think it's to the point he ended up. It stopped ringing and it went to hurt the voicemail or something. Like he was blocking me. I ain't talked. This nigga ain't talked to me in days or whatever. And then he hits me up out of nowhere. So I'm like, it hey, was up. I'm like, nigga, what the frick you mean? What's up, nigga? I've been hitting your ass up. 